Hello there, and welcome back to our YouTube channel, where we share helpful videos about Wondershare Dr. Phone. I'm Francisco, and in this tutorial, we're going to explore a common issue that Android users face. Now, the challenge of bypassing the swipe screen to unlock their devices, we're going to be here to walk you through effective methods to tackle this problem head on. So before diving into these invaluable tips, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated about upcoming videos. Now with that said, let's go ahead and dive right in. Part 1 how to disable swipe screen to unlock when you can access the phone. So have you ever wondered how to turn off the swipe screen to unlock feature on your Android phone? By disabling the swipe lock feature, you can get quick access to your Android smartphone. In this segment, our primary focus is going to be in the simple method to turn off the swipe up screen unlock functionality when your Android device is accessible. So follow the simplified instructions along with me coming right up. First, you have to tap the gear icon on your Android phone screen. This will take you to the device settings, where you will need to find the lock screen option and select it. Next, choose the screen lock type option, which appears as the first option on the phone screen. When you finally access the screen lock type menu, look for the none option and then tap on that, and then you should be pretty much good to go from there. Part 2. How to bypass swipe to unlock when the phone is locked. No password required. Now we will look at the most powerful solution to bypass swipe to unlock. This solution is none other than Wondershare Dr. Phone, which requires no password to unlock your screen. This tool can help you get past the swipe screen without losing data. It temporarily supports bypassing Android screens without data loss, specifically on Samsung and LG devices. However, it's important to note that using this tool to unlock the screen for other Android phones may result in losing all data. Dr. Phone has many features, including compatibility with almost all devices and a user-friendly interface. Moreover, it can remove screen locks of different types such as PIN, Touch ID, Pattern, etc. So heading on in this video, we will explore two methods to bypass swipe to unlock. One requires data loss to complete the task, while the other method ensures no data loss. Method number one, bypass swipe to unlock without losing data for Samsung. Now, this approach ensures that your data remains safe as the platform avoids extensive operations that could risk your information. So follow these guidelines to understand how the secure process is accomplished. First of all, you will have to connect your Android device to your computer and launch the latest version of OneShare Dr. Phone. Once connected, find and open the screen unlock tool within the toolbox panel on the left side of the interface. Next, you'll be taken to a new screen, asking you about your device type. Select the Android option and then the unlock Android screen option to start the unlocking process. Following this, you will be headed to another window asking you your device's brands from various brand options. You will have to choose the Samsung brand and proceed with the remove without data loss option. Lastly, just go ahead and enter the device details like brand and model. After that, tick the agreement box, hit next, then confirm by typing the 000000 code and follow the on-screen instructions to put your Android into download mode. One sure Dr. Phone will take it from there and will unlock your screen afterward. Method number two, bypass swipe to unlock for most Android device brands. Now, unlocking the Android screen without losing data is limited to certain Samsung devices. If you have an Android smartphone other than Samsung, you can try the following steps to bypass the swipe to unlock feature. First and foremost, you need to head to the screen unlock section in Wondershare Dr. Phone by accessing the toolbox tab. From there, you will have to select the Android option, then pick unlock Android screen to get started with removing the lock. Subsequently, select your device's brand and follow the prompts to enter a specific mode. Picking the device's brand will direct you into a specific mode automatically. Now once the brand is selected, Wondershare Dr. Phone will guide you through entering the necessary mode to start the screen unlocking process. Though its steps might differ based on the device brand, of course. Now finally, you can just sit back and wait for Wondershare Dr. Phone to work on its operations. You can give it another shot if it fails by clicking try again, and then once successfully unlocked, just tap on the done option to finish the process. Part 3. How to turn off the swipe to unlock when the pattern is enabled. Now, another case could be where you have enabled the pattern on your Android phone. In this section, we will explore different sections or different steps really to turn off the swipe to unlock feature stepwise. Initiate the process by accessing the, the settings application on your Android phone's home screen. Once there, navigate to the lock screen option and then proceed by selecting it. Next, tap the screen lock type option to proceed further. Subsequently, choose none from the options presented, 
This action will prompt you to enter the pattern lock that was previously set up on your device. Once entered, this will promptly eliminate the swipe screen to unlock option. Now to sum up, in this video guide, we've explored various methods to overcome the problem of bypassing the swipe screen to unlock on Android devices. Now these solutions provide effective ways to regain access to your device without getting stuck at the swipe screen. Now above all, Wondershare Dr. Phone Screen Unlock offers a reliable method without any risk of data loss. So please do not hesitate to take action now to solve the swipe screen unlocking issue on your Android device using Dr. Phone Screen Unlock for Android. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to let us know by leaving a comment. For more insightful tips and updates, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. Thank you for your attention and for being a part of today's informative video. So until next time, have a good one and enjoy.